Hello class, this is a quick video about the second day of fractions that we are trying to make sure you remember how to do all these things with horrible denominators and dividing and rational expressions and such. And I just want to do two quick things. I want to solve an equation and I want to simplify an expression with you. So that should be pretty quick. The equation that I haven't looked at before and I'm just going to try to take my first gander at right here is k squared minus k minus 12 over k cubed minus 2k squared. Subtract from that 5 over k cubed minus 2k squared equals 1 over k. Now when I look at this expression here, I see, okay, so that um, first numerator, that factors into k minus 4 times uh, k plus 3, but that won't do me any good because it's about to be subtracted, so I need it all spread out like that. But I can factor uh, those uh, numerators to help me see what are the common terms. So I'm going to rewrite this as k squared minus k minus 12 and I can take out a k squared which leaves me k minus 2 and that's the same thing right here k squared times k minus 2 equals 1 over k. Now at this point I should make a little note off to the side and say that k must not equal 0 and k must not equal 2. If at the end of this whole process I solve a quadratic and I get down to uh, k equaling 0 or k equaling 2, that's not valid because my original equation had it so that if I plug those into the denominator here or here, then I'll get divide by 0, which doesn't work. So those values are excluded. They can't be part of the solution set. Now, I could work on solving this and get everybody to have the same denominator. But again, you know my preference. I don't like fractions, so I'm going to multiply. Actually, I do like fractions, but I don't like solving this kind with fractions in it. So I'm going to multiply both sides by k squared times k minus 2. And you could write that as both sides, but I'm just going to write the whole thing times that. Because in the first case, that's going to cancel with the first expression. And I'll have k squared minus k minus 12. And then in the second expression, that'll cancel as well. And so I'll have minus 5. And then in the other side, across the equal sign, 1k is going to cancel. So this one and one of those. So I'll be left with k times k minus 2. And this is, oh, is going to clean up way too much. Uh, that's going to be k squared minus 2k and k squared minus k minus 12. I'll go ahead and combine those, minus 17. And now, oh, this is too nice. The k squareds cancel. And if I add 2k to both sides, I've got k minus 17 equals 0 or k equals 17. And I double check, and that is not one of my excluded values from the beginning. So that's it. All right. Um, I said it'd be quick. And so then uh, the other one was a simplify. And let's see what the computer has for me. It says 6b squared plus 30b over 45b squared minus 36b times, uh, oh. Let's see what the computer has for me. It says 8n minus 40 over n squared minus 4n minus 5 times 5 minus n over n squared minus 25. All right. Now, since this is a multiplication problem, uh, nothing's going to be obvious until I factor. So up here, if I take out an 8, that's n minus 5. And then here, my n looks like a u. That's terrible handwriting. Here, what multiplies to negative 5 and adds to negative 4? Well, that's minus 5 and plus 1. And now this expression right here, I've showed you this before uh, several times, is the opposite of what I want. So I'm going to take out a negative and get n minus 5. Because everybody else was n minus something. This guy needs to play ball and do the same. And so then down here, this is the difference of squares. So that's n minus 5 and n plus 5, like that. All right, so now I go and I have a great big cancel party. This cancels with that. This cancels with that. 
and I am left with negative 8 over n plus 1 times n plus 5. And... For completeness' sake, I should probably multiply that out, but I can see that nothing's going to cancel. Um, that adds to 6 and multiplies to 5, and that's as good as it gets.